Hello everybody, and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. Indigenous Australians are recognised by scientists to have arrived in Australia around 65,000 years ago. But because of rising sea levels, many of the most ancient sites are now underwater. But this week there are reports of a new discovery of a 7,000 year old site now submerged along the continental shelf of northwestern Australia, meaning that ancient Aboriginal artefacts and landscapes could be well preserved. If you follow my channel and others like it, you'll know that the last ice age came to an end around 11,500 years ago, when the Younger Dryas cold event came to an end. At that time, the melting glaciers and rising sea level are estimated to have drowned around one third of Australia's habitable land, which means there is potentially a treasure trove of archaeological sites to be found, because we know the country has a long history of human activity. Jonathan Benjamin, a professor at Flinders University, led a team of experts searching for marine sites of Murrajugga. Apologies if the pronunciation is wrong. This area is a dry and rocky coastal region in northwestern Australia. 18,000 years ago, sea level was 80 metres lower, which means there would have been a staggering 2 million square kilometres of extra land. In this part of northwestern Australia, there are more than 1 million samples of rock art, and this is therefore the best place to search for ancient submerged sites, because we know of ancient human activity. The team used lidar-mounted planes and sonar-equipped boats to scan the shallow seas. And last year, 2019, divers surveyed targets but found nothing. But then they looked into the Cape Bregueras Channel. There they found an igneous rock stone tool, an unmistakable lithic artefact, and, continuing their research, they quickly found another four or five. In total, they discovered 269 stone artefacts in the channel, just 8 feet below the water surface. There were scrapers, cutting tools, hammer stones, grindstones and more. The area where they were found was radiocarbon dated to 7,000 years old. A second site was then identified at Flying Foam Passage, a freshwater spring now 45 feet below sea level and at least one stone tool was found at the site, and it was dated to 8,500 years ago. These new discoveries indicate there is more to be found offshore in Australia, and there are huge amounts of exploratory work to be done. The discovery is important, because it's the first time that a marine site older than 5,000 years has been discovered, and it proves that stone tools can survive on the sea floor in tropical environments. For the archaeologists, they hope that these new discoveries will impact public policy regarding the ancient history and heritage of Australia. There are many offshore energy developments, but very little protection for the underwater landscapes. Unless something is done to protect the land beneath these shallow seas, important archaeology and a chapter of the human story will be lost forever. Thank you very much for watching this news update from Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.